A database transaction is a logical grouping of DML statements out of which either all of them will execute or none of them will execute. A good example for a transaction is online money transfer. Let's say Mr. Clinton is transferring $3 billion to Obama. This involves, an online money transfer involves at least two update statements. One update statement will deduct $3 million from Clinton's account table or account row and then row in the account table. Then Obama's row will be updated in the account table with a new balance by adding $3 million. Let's say for his party campaign or whatever. Now, if the first update statement which deducts the account executes successfully, but the second statement fails for whatever reason, say the SQL, either the SQL syntax of uh, updating Obama's account is wrong or the database crash, in that case, the amount will not be updated or printed to Obama's account, which will obviously make both of them unhappy. That's where transaction management comes into picture. JDBC gives a simple transaction management API out of which the connection interface has the three key methods. First method is set auto commit, second method is commit, then we have rollback. Set auto commit allows us to turn on transactions in JDBC. By default, everything, when you execute an execute update statement and give it a DML like insert or update or delete, automatically those changes are committed to the database even before the next statement executes. But once you turn set auto commit to false, by passing a boolean value false to the set auto commit method, transactions will be enabled. From this point in time, the DML you are using will not be automatically, the changes from the DML you are using will not be permanently made to the database tables, but they will be stored in a temporary location. They will be stored permanently only when you say connection.commit. So this way we are safe wherein the, when the amount is first deducted, this is not a complete code, it's just pseudo code, it doesn't have the actual SQL. Assume that this is the update that's deducting the amount from Clinton's account and this is the update DML statement which is adding amount to Obama's account. Now if this statement goes through but if this fails, we are still okay because the transaction is not committed. If an exception happens here, it will go to the catch block wherein we are saying the third important method, connection.rollback. All the changes that were temporarily made will be cleaned up and they are never permanently saved to the, both the changes will never be saved to the actual tables. So this is simple transaction management using set auto commit, commit and then roll back. It's that easy. JDBC 3.0 gives save point which allows you to roll back to a certain location. Instead of rolling back all the SQL DML changes, if you have 100 DML statements, you can create a save point at any, right here, if you want to roll back only up to here when something wrong happens and not this, which is not a good scenario, but you can create a save point right here using connection.create save point in between these two. Assign that to a save point object and when you are rolling back, you can use that save point object by using the overloaded rollback method which takes save point object as a parameter. So inside our catch block, we'll say rollback SP1, SP2. You can have hundreds of save points depending on how many DML statements you have and you can roll back to a certain location instead of rolling back all the hundred changes depending on your business use and what your, how you define your transactions in your application. So to quickly summarize, JDBC transaction management can be done using set auto commit, commit and roll back which are methods on the connection interface. Set auto commit to false, that's the first step and then wherever you want to commit you can commit using the commit method and roll back. A good place for rollback is usually the catch block. When an exception happens, that's when you roll back. In the next few sessions, I will do a hands-on example. You can also download the hands-on example for transaction management from the download section of my website. Give it a try. I will also do a hands-on in the next few sessions. Take care.